Dear students, under the topic Non-Linear Partial Differential Equations, we are solving problems under standard type 3. Here we have problem 6 which is square root of p plus square root of q is equal to square root of x. So we observe that in this question only p, q and x are present, z is not present. So whenever z is not present, this given equation is of the form f1 of x, p is equal to f2 of y, q. So whenever it is of this form, we have to gather the x and p terms to the left of the equation and y and q terms to the right of the equation. Though y is not present, we gather this term q to the right. So let us do that. So we take the square root of x to the left. So it becomes square root of p minus square root of x is equal to taking the square root of q to the right, square root of q. And equating these two to a general constant a, we will be having root p minus root x to be equal to a and square root of q is equal to a constant a. Now, from this we obtain square root of p to be equal to, taking this negative square root of x to the right, we will have a plus square root of x. So, squaring on both the sides, we get the value of p to be equal to a plus square root of x, the whole square. And here, squaring on both the sides, the value of q is equal to a square. So, we have obtained the value of p and the value of q. Now, we have to substitute these two values in the equation. dz is equal to p dx plus q dy. So, on substituting, what we get is dz is equal to a plus root x. So, we, I can write it as root x plus a, the whole squared. So, p dx plus q is a squared dy. Now, we have to integrate on both the sides. So, before integrating, we will expand this term because we have square root of x inside. So, we cannot just like that use the formula x power n since we have root x over here. So, right side will be on expanding, we will use a plus b the whole square. So, the, if we use that formula, square of root x is x plus uh, a square plus 2ab. So, 2a root x. Okay. And dx plus a square is a constant, integral dy. So now next, here we have integral dz. Now we shall integrate it. So integral dz will be z is equal to, now we shall integrate each term separately in this. So when we do that, integral dx dx will be x squared by 2 plus integral a squared dx will be a squared x plus 2a is a constant and x uh, square root of x is nothing but x to the power 1 by 2. So on integration it will be x to the power 3 by 2 divided by 3 by 2. Plus a squared integral dy is y plus a constant of integration b. We shall just rewrite this. So z is equal to if you see this a squared is common in these two terms. We have a squared x and a squared y. So, we can put it together and we can write it as a squared taken as common and multiplied with x plus y. Plus, we have this x squared by 2. Plus, so these three terms are completed. Now, next we have this term. We have 3 by 2 in the denominator. So, this denominator of the denominator becomes the numerator. This 2 gets multiplied with this 2 and it becomes 4. So, 4 by 3, a x to the power 3 by 2 plus the constant of integration b. So therefore this is the required final solution of this problem. So hope you have understood this problem. Kindly follow the next video lectures for more problems under this topic. Thank you.